हाई फ्रेंड्स इफ यू आर नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल माई चैनल नेम इज रियल लाइफ इंद्रजीत पाल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आईकॉन फॉर मोर अपडेट्स एंड ऑल्सो शेयर माई वीडियो to your friends and relatives so today our topic is testing of transformer transformers has two type of test one is type test and another is routine test in type test we test the transformers material features that's the temperature rise test and the core material test etc are done in the type test and in the routine test um, we have done the lot of test during the factory inspections and also at substations the different type of test are there the first test is magnetizing current test in this test we Applied a three-phase 415 volt supply on the HV and LV side open, and measured the current on the HV side. And this is the magnetizing current. So we have applied this 415 volt supply, and we are getting the magnetizing current on the HV side. This is the procedures of this uh, test, magnetizing current test. The second test is the ratio test. We apply in the HV side three fifth. Three phase, four fifteen volt supply LV side open and voltage on the LV side. A HV side we apply ROI YB BR four fifteen volt and we are getting this voltage um, phase to phase and phase to earth. The third test is the short circuit test. In short circuit test, we applied. the three phase 415 volt in the hv side and lv side sorted three phase sorted and measured the current on hv and lv both hv side current lv side current lv side current both magnetic balance test magnetic balance balance test in this test uh, in hv side Uh, single phase supply to one phase to neutral, one by one to three phase. First, we have applied um, uh, the single phase supply to the R uh, phase to neutral, and LV side open. Voltage measured on the HV side and LV side. LV side. This is the magnetic balance test. Winding resistance test. Winding resistance test. and uh, the all the test we have done on the uh, both tap 1 to 17 as per example um, the, this is the approximate data so 1 to 17 we have done all the uh, tap resistance in in that case we connected um, the terminal to the rn yn bn winding resistance ry by uh, uh, yb br winding resistance we get the winding resistance uh, to all tap insulation resistance test ir in that uh, test we have to done this test before the test and after the test so um, in this test we measures the hv to earth for 15 second for 60 second value LV side to earth for 15 second for 60 second value, HV to LV for 15 second for 60 second value, and after the test we have um, we have to um, get this data. This data actually in the mega ohm, so insulation resistance is very important in tan delta uh, test. a first we um, uh, in in case of the tan delta uh, hv side and lv side of the transformers so we sorted the ryb of the hv side and l ryb in the um, lv side 
and suppose this is the key uh, the two terminal hb terminal lv terminal and we um, uh, connected the hb terminal to hb bushing sorted and the lv terminal to L lv bushing sorted and we applied the 10 uh, kv we applied the 10 and kv um, for and the another test is uh, the hb terminal is connected to the lv uh, bushing sorted and the LB terminal is uh, connected to the HB um, bushing sorted and we apply the 4 kb here and uh, the DDA uh, detection factor should be less than 1 if the value of um, the DDA is less than 1 so the transformers condition is ok in the 10 delta test we are um, doing the 10 delta test and getting the capacitance getting the capacitance in picofarad or microfarad whatever it is um, hv side to lv side this is the um, hv to lv side in the in, in, in case of the bushing we are getting this data in case of the bushing we getting this data so hv lead to hv winding first hv lead to hv winding lv lead to lv winding hv lead to lv winding and um, HV lead, HV lead to LV winding and LV lead to HV winding. This is the pictorial representations of 10 delta test. This is the top view of the transformers. Uh, is considered as a transformer. So friends, thank you for watching my video.